Happy Vlogmas! <laughs> that was a bit intense. Hello guys, we are going to the mall. Caitlin's gonna come with me. We, well I have to return something, but then we're gonna just do some Christmas shopping or look for stuff. Probably gonna be a fail, but we wanna get some boba while we're at it. I don't think I gotta show you guys the lights that we put on the banister. They really add a lot to this house. It was just bland up here, but now we have this that lights up the stairway. We really like it. I just picked up all these points that it's from work. We're kind of going ham with them. They're so pretty. We're kicking off Vlogmas. Okay, wait, I didn't even preface that I'm doing a weekly Vlogmas because I cannot do it every day. That would just not be good. Content would be terrible. <laughs> You know, so we're gonna do a little weekend in my life vlogmas style. We're going to the mall, like I said. Hopefully, we have some luck here. We usually don't. We are done with our shopping extravaganza. We got so much stuff. Caitlin, I already told you, Caitlin got our got the cologne. <laughs> this is so anticlimactic. <laughs> we smelled about like 50 different colognes. We went to Macy's. We bothered the girl. She sprayed like thousands of scents. And, and then we left, went to Sephora, smelled more scents, went back to Macy's, and we're like, okay, we might as well just get one of these. And then five minutes later, she decided, what if I shouldn't have gotten that? <laughs> so we're gonna re smell them at home. Oh. And then we were hangry and we oh got God, these are like hard. pretzels. They're not good. They tasted better. Oh my God. They're hard. <laughs> I've probably just been sitting there for hours. <laughs> And then the other thing that we got was boba. I got brown sugar from Lucky Tea. Caitlin gets her rose all the time. Anyways, we're gonna go home now. Good morning, guys. So it is Saturday, and we are starting the day off with a hike just around our neighborhood area. But y'all, our neighbors are putting in a pool, and they start working at 8 a.m., which is just a little early. I just got ready. I have never worn this jacket before. I don't know, if, I feel like I'm gonna get hot, but everyone's wearing a long sleeve, so. Got on a Bowen T sports bra. This is like one of my favorite ones. Wearing a terrible outfit this morning. It's actually not even morning. Got my yeah, fanny pack. Kiana recommended that we wake up at 8 a.m. to get out of here by nine, and it's noon. I'd say that was a little right ambitious. <laughs> we all look like fools. Eggheads. My butt was so sore after this last weekend. <laughs> I'm not really used to walking up hills. Let's get it. I typically fall behind the pack, but that's okay. My cardiovascular fitness has always been behind my mom and sisters. But that's cause I really don't care about cardio that much. <laughs> I played soccer in high school in like a little intramural, but it's been a while and that's like intense running. But now I don't really run that intensely, so my endurance is not that great. My favorite part about these walks or hikes is just taking in all the pretty views and feeling the fresh air because I said in a previous vlog that I don't get outside enough. I mean, I just went to Yosemite, which is beautiful, like greatest views to see in a while. But in my typical routines, like, I don't go outside like a ton. But I think it's because I'm not a huge hiker. I do want to challenge myself just to get outside more in the upcoming months, starting now. <laughs> I feel like vlogging is distracting me from the tiredness, so that's great. Mom's going to prep some materials for the baking fest tomorrow. And yeah, it's kind of just a chill day. How do you feel? Great. <laughs> Cute. That looks so adorable. Cute. Oh, let's see your sweater. Do you want a treat? Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> Shake. Good girl. Who's the cutest little Santa baby ever? Shake. Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you, Santa. Oh. Good girl. Gonna use my 35 millimeter 1.4. This is a Sigma lens. It's my favorite lens ever. I just imported the photos of Oreo. Some of them are cute, but they're not my favorite. I feel like the composition is just a little eh. The lighting was a little eh, but 
I think we're gonna try again when there's like presents under the tree because there's cords showing. I just have five that I favorited. This one, that one. I'm gonna Photoshop this out. I mean, this is kind of cute. I like it. Hi guys, so it's been a little bit since I've last checked in, but I, I showered after we did the little Oreo photo shoot. I've been editing my Sunday reset vlog and that's gonna go up tomorrow. I'm really excited about it. Also made some tea. I'm having the Trader Joe's ginger turmeric tea, which is pretty good. It's a nice like herbal nighttime tea. I'm gonna go to the store with my mom in a bit. She's gonna grab some like more baking stuff and I wanna look at some teas cause I'm kind of tired of our selection. Yeah, I think we're gonna go in a bit. I just need to get changed. And I actually want to show you guys some of the stuff that I bought from Black Friday because I'm not going to do a full haul video on that stuff because it's pretty minimal. And a lot of my stuff hasn't even arrived yet, but one of the first things that I got, it's pretty dark in here. So, Sephora had a lot of random things on sale and something that I saw, which I actually needed because I was running out of my Curology moisturizer. So I found this set. I've actually tried this moisturizer before as like a sample and I loved it. It smells like Fruity Pebbles but like a light scent, so it's not overwhelming. But this is the Belief Explosive Hydration Holiday Set. Why are you filming <laughs> towards the distraction? <laughs> she comes in my room and uses all my perfume. <laughs> but yeah, this moisturizer is amazing. It's $57 of value, but it was on sale for 30 bucks. Normally it's 38, so the typical moisturizer actually costs $38. So I bought a full size and got a bunch of other stuff for like 30 bucks, so really happy about that. Moisturizer is great. Like look how big this size is. It's amazing and Again, so much product filled to the top and the consistency is great and it's a very light scent Which is good because you're not really supposed to have scented products on your face. It's not good for you But so are a lot of things that we do. It's not great for us So I highly recommend this moisturizer and if you can find it on sale hop on it Obviously you get some little samples, but I pick out things that I actually have been wanting to try So I got this first aid beauty anti-dandruff shampoo I don't have dandruff all the time, but I feel like sometimes there'll be like little white specks of scalp imp up in here, which is just unfortunate. Also got the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Protective Primer. I don't use primers very often, but I thought since it's Tatcha, I'm gonna try it. The last thing I got was Clinique Moisture Surge. This is also a really good moisturizer. I have normal to dry skin nowadays, so if just in case you're like curious about any of these products, this would be better for like normal skin. But the Clinique one is good for oily skin in my opinion. It's pretty lightweight. So that's what I got from Sephora. I also got some stuff from Ulta, which I'm gonna show you. From Ulta, I got the Anastasia Brow Definer. This is different than the one I normally get. I normally get like the Brow Wiz, which is really skinny, but that one, I'm just, you know, I could use something different. This one's thicker, which I thought would help because my brows just haven't been looking too hot lately, but you can see it's like an angled liner and it's thicker. So I've been using this lately and I like it so far. And then I also got this lip balm from Tarte. It's like this cute potted one, it has a flower on it. It has a slight tint to it. Yeah, all of these things I really wanted because they're really useful and they're also discounted by a pretty good amount. Next thing I got was this Beekman Milk Wash Exfoliating Jelly Cleanser. I'm the type of person who kind of just uses the same product for decades because it works and I'm not gonna change it up, but I decided I would try this out. The reviews of this were really good. People were saying it really softens your skin and I feel like my skin, it's good for the most part, but the cleanser that I use is like a clean and clear, has benzoyl peroxide in it, which is the key ingredient to getting rid of your pimples because I wanted to like soften my skin a bit and just like maybe this'll improve the texture. I decided to try this because it's supposed to be very softening. So that's enough about this. I have not tried it yet, but I'm going to. And then the last thing that I got is this It's a 10 Detangler Spray. I used this as a kid and I really liked it, but it's overpriced and I don't buy it full price. So I got it and this was only $19 compared to the typical 38, I'm pretty sure. So that's all the stuff that I got from my Black Friday sales. I did order other things, but they just haven't gotten here yet. So um, I might feature those in upcoming vlogs whenever they arrive or I'll just not talk about them. But I'm so excited because I bought this festival outfit, which is kind of impractical and I don't typically buy impractical stuff, but I intend on going to a rave or festival and I'm gonna be wearing this to many of them because I'm obsessed with it. And I'm really excited to show you guys when it gets here. I'm probably gonna do like a festival haul video because I have been collecting some festival wear and I want to go to more festivals and raves but honestly I need more friends that want to go to them as well so that is my predicament anyways I'm gonna go to Target and Trader Joe's with my mom now and hopefully get some yummy tea talk to you guys later
I used to have an addiction to these in college. I'm gonna get Irish black tea because I want to start drinking this in the morning instead of coffee so much. And I need to get nighttime tea. Should I get chamomile? Guess I'm gonna get chamomile. So we got some winter wassail punch from Trader Joe's. We're gonna heat it up on the stove and then put some red wine in it. Good afternoon, it is Sunday, one o'clock. I actually haven't been helping with any of the baking. Are we surprised? <laughs> They've made a lot of progress. I'm gonna finally help. <laughs> two cookies left or three different types? Probably two. We have eight. We haven't even made oh. yet. Eight types, here's the list. So far they've made peanut butter blossoms, blossoms and cream cheese snickerdoodle. The thumbprint ones. Which are jelly. Oh. Jam filled. We still have chocolate chip, sugar cookies, chocolate mint cookies, Nordstrom bars, coconut cookies, and then Mexican wedding cake cookies. Are they slightly brown? Or they I'd rather them not be Are they supposed to be? Aren't they just going in randomly? Yeah. Willy nilly. So, Caitlin and I just took the sleeves off of the poinsettias. We are going to hand deliver them to our neighbors now. I feel like it's a cute gift, except they are poisonous to dogs and cats. Pretty much everyone in the suburbs has pets, but they can put it outside or put it on a table where they wouldn't be able to reach it. But they're really pretty. The final cookie assortment. Which one's your favorite? My favorite is the Nordstrom bar. It's the butterscotch thing. It's actually really good. The macaroon, pseudo macaroon is really good. Chocolate chip is always good. <laughs> and the peanut blossoms are delicious. I haven't had any, but <laughs> <laughs> really good.